Hi, my name is Richard LeBron, and I'm currently a youth ambassador here, uh, and I attend Kensington Creative and Performing Arts High School. I'm in the 12th grade, and uh, uh, I've been a Penn Youth Ambassador for like six months already. Yes, I enjoy it a lot. It's uh, a lot of responsibilities, but it, at the same time, it's an adventure. Um, you get to find, you know, like who you really are, what strengths do you have, what skills do you have, and what skills you don't have. And you try to master. Uh, I actually, I actually was um, an intern here at PYN, um, and then as I was working here at PYN, I got introduced. Well, I saw uh, other youth ambassadors, and I, you know, I saw them with their blazers and everything. And I got really interested into that. I actually talked. I actually started talking to one of the youth ambassadors, and he uh, like motivated me to do the applications and everything. So that's that's how I got introduced to that. What advice would you give someone trying to be a leader in your school or in your community? I would say um, if you feel as though you're a leader inside, then let the inner you come out. Uh, but make sure it's, you know, be a positive leader, not a, a negative leader. What skills have you learned as a youth ambassador? I've learned a lot of skills be, uh, here being, you know, at PYN and being as a youth ambassador. I've learned, you know, teamwork, collaboration, how to be flexible. Um, you know how to be adaptable. You know, like when a circumstance presents itself. Um, you know, so those are the type of skills that I've learned being a youth ambassador. And in your community? In my community, uh, how to just like co collaborate. You know, with everyone and how to be flexible. What skills have you learned as a youth ambassador that you're currently using at your school? Um, I've learned how to communicate better with my fellow peers, with my administration, with my. Um, you know, the staff that are helping me, and you know, just with my, uh, not colleagues, yeah, colleagues. You know, like I've also learned like leadership skills. Also uh, learned um, how to be adaptable. I've learned also how to be, you know, like, just how to be like a better person and a better president. How are you going to use these skills beyond high school? Well, of course, you know, I'm gonna apply them uh, into my college life and into my professional life, you know, when it comes to the, uh, job, you know, or, or when it comes to the circumstance. Do you have any leadership roles at your school? Actually, I do. My, I'm actually the student body's president. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm actually like an AIM leader, and I'm also a youth ambassador at my school as well. What are you doing to maintain these roles? Well, I'm, you know, I'm just doing my job, doing my duty, and, you know, just being on time with everything, being punctual with everything. And, do you recommend this program to others, specifically for future leaders? Yes, 100% I will rec recommend this program to any future leaders um, because you can learn skills from, you know, like articulating speech, uh, art articulating like your voice, um, and you know, just like how to, you know, just hold up a professional conversation. <laughs> what skills have you learned as a youth ambassador that you are currently using at your school? <laughs> what skills have you learned as a youth ambassador that you are currently using at your school? Using it, I say that. You yeah. didn't tell me that. Yes, I did. What resources do you think that you as a person need beyond high school? What skills have you learned as a youth ambassador that are that you are currently using at your school? Well, of course, I've learned how to be accountable. I've learned how to be uh, productive. I've learned how to be, um, you know, focused and you know, like stay determined. And, you know, like how to turn things on time and things like that. So, yeah. Do you like um, being a youth ambassador? How exactly did you become a youth ambassador? Um, Turns into alcohol